Hello everyone, today we'll talk about different extraction procedures. Now, what are the different extraction procedures? There are seven different extraction procedures. First is the balanced extraction, compensatory extraction, Wilkinson's extraction, serial extraction, phased extraction, enforced and therapeutic extraction. In the first part, we'll discuss about the balanced, compensatory and Wilkinson's extraction. Okay, now to better understand balanced extraction, let's consider this case. Here, we can see that a premolar has been extracted from the right side as depicted by the arrow. Now, due to the extraction, the first premolar and the molar has differed into the extraction space. Now, what has this caused is that our midline has shifted towards the right side, right? As you can see in this, as the premolar drifted distally, the mesial, uh, the midline shifted towards the right. So now to balance that, here comes balanced extraction. We'll have to extract the opposite teeth of the same arch. Right? If we have extracted the second premolar on the right side, then we'll have to extract the second premolar on the left side as well to maintain a balance. Hence, this is known as balanced extraction. So by definition, what is balanced extraction? Balanced extraction is defined as the method of extraction where removal of another tooth on the opposite side of the same arch is done. Now, as we discuss, we have the same maxillary arch. The previous case that we discussed, we have the same arch. As we can see in this diagram, maxillary arch, the same arch, one side extraction, balance it, we need to do another tooth extraction on the opposite side of the same arch. Next is compensatory extraction. Now let's take an example. If we remove a tooth in one quadrant of a dental arch, for example, we have extracted this molar, second molar, and due to the extraction of that molar, two things happen. First is the increase in drifting of the tooth into the extraction space. And the next is the super eruption of the antagonist tooth. So if we are extracting mandibular third molar, let's say, so there will be supra eruption of maxillary third molar. So this molar will supra erupt into the extraction space. Now what it cause, it causes hampered occlusal relationships, hence compensatory extractions are needed. So what compensatory extraction means, then we have to remove the upper third molar also to have a better occlusal relation. So by definition, compensatory extraction refers to extraction of a tooth, refers to extraction of a tooth in opposite jaw of the same teeth group. Now the same teeth group will be our left side. Extraction of a tooth in opposite jaw, maxillary and mandibular are the opposite jaw. Same teeth group will be the left or right side. Now, if we are extracting maxillary third molar, the compensatory extraction will be of mandibular third molar, the antimere. What is antimere? The mandibular third molar is the antimere of maxillary third molar and maxillary third molar is antimere of mandibular third molar. Now next is Wilkinson's extraction. Wilkinson, the scientist, advocated extraction of the entire first molars between the age of eight and a half to nine and a half years. So what he advocated was that he told to remove all the first molars in all the four quadrants, one six, two six, three six, and four six. Now why? The rationale behind the extraction. He believed that the first uh, since the first permanent molars are highly sensitive, are highly prone for the dental caries. So it's better to extract the first molars. 
Now what are the advantages and disadvantages of removing all the first molars? The advantages is that uh, it would prevent the impaction of third molar. Wilkinson's used to believe that third molar will stop getting impacted. Then he believed that it uh, relieves crowding. But it was later found out that the crowding it relieves is not to that extent we want. And the main why he chose to extract all the first molars was decrease in risk of dental caries. Then disadvantages. Now the disadvantages of extracting first molar will be the mesial drift of second molar into the extraction space and also of the second premolar into the extraction space causing rotations of second premolar and second molar. And moreover, the advantage that Wilkinson's advised was to relieve the crowding, but it was later on found that it was not relieving to that much extent. Next is lack of encourage in orthodontic treatment. We know that we take encourage from first molars in the orthodontic treatment, but due to removal of that, we cannot do that. Moreover, first molars are the first teeth to erupt and these are uh, those are the teeth which are defining our angle small occlusion class 1 class 2 class 3 type so if we are extracting all the first molars it will be difficult to define the small occlusion according to angles so thanks for watching everyone see you guys in the next part